Hello there friends and welcome back for another map mod review. Today we're going to be taking a look at a very nice single player map indeed. This was out for a couple of months now. They just released the latest update for it so I figured it was a good time to cover it. This is the Cantabria Infinite Map version 1.7.0.2 for the Mac or PC. The file size is 624.19 megabytes. 35 fields on this map. So what we're going to do guys, I'm going to discuss a few things regarding the map, the field sizes and prices, any added fruit types, added products and factories. We'll go over your starting fleet and lastly we'll take a tour of the map. So hopefully you can stick around, you can actually see some of those added products there on the screen. Yeah, when you start up this map you're greeted by this very nice loading screen here. So it'll tell you quite a bit about what you need for your factories and whatnot. So let's get started. And this is the Cantabria Infinite Map version 1.7.0.2 for the PC or map. This is a map located in Spain and a lot of these products are going to be in Spanish but I went over and visited Google Translate and I did translate most of them for you so hopefully we can get through that without any problems. Like I said the file size is 624.19 megabytes and there's 35 fields on this map. Now let's take a look at that map right now. There you go, very colorful indeed. You can see all your factories beautifully colored and located just around this section for the most part. But there is quite a bit of factories on this map. And another cool thing about this map too guys is the factories, you get to buy them. You can't use them until you buy them but I think that just adds to the flavor. And let's go over some of your added fruit types. Spelt, Rye, Oats, Millet, Triticale, Hops and Poplar. Now there is 20 factories on this map that you can buy and put ingredients in so you can make your own product and sell it. Okay, so let's go over some of these factories right now. And first up we have a plank factory, a pallet factory, a silage plant, a compost plant, a desalination plant which takes salt water and purifies it into clean water and salt which you can use both products. There is a biodiesel plant, a greenhouse, many a few greenhouses actually a wine factory a soy milk factory a dairy factory food factory beer factory oil factory now that is sunflower seed oil there's an olive oil factory sugar factory liquor factory a slaughterhouse and a drying factory now what you do there is you take raw hams there is a butchery on here and you take salt and it makes cured hams for you so that is really cool and like I said you can buy all these factories as well Okay, so you are located right here. Here's your main farm. It's not too big of a farm. Your chickens are right on the farm there. Pigs are located over here. Your cows are located over here. And your sheep are located over here. They're quite far apart, but like I said, this is only a small map anyway. So it does have quite a bit to offer for the size, though, I must say. And it's beautifully laid out. Really, really nice. Okay, so as far as field sizes go... The smallest field being field 22, that's that little guy right down there. That is 0.43 hectares and it's going to cost you $27,697. And the biggest field, being field 18 right here, is 16.78 hectares and it'll cost you $1,359,196. So that'll give you an indication of what is in between all that. So I gave you the smallest and the biggest field sizes and prices. So we'll now go over the extra products on this map. We have salt water, salt, pallets, planks, sugar, beer, sunflower oil, olive oil, dairy, liquor, raw hams, grape juice, wine, wine barrels, red cabbage, cauliflower, raspberries, strawberries, lettuce, tomatoes, food. <laughs> I think that's just, uh, it kind of packages your food. You bring different things like pallets and different food there and it palletizes it for you. We have cured hams, compost, grapes, olives, apples, meat, hops. Yeah, I already listed the uh, different fruit types there. And we have a few different cell points here. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 places you can sell your product at. So that is very cool. Let's go back to the map here. This is a very hilly map. Now we'll go over a few things in the immediate area here as soon as we take a look at the starting fleet. So let's go over to the shop, we'll go over to the garage, and we start with a Fent Vario 300. We also have a 700 Vario. We have a front loading attacher. We have a bucket, a small case harvester, as well as a header. We have a very small tipper, and the next size up tipper. 
We have a cultivator, a plow, a very small cedar, two weights, a front mower attacher, a loading wagon, and a sprayer. So that's all you start with right there. Okay, so let's take a look at this map. This is your starting position right here. This is your main farm. Now this is kind of cool. This is your silo patch here on your main farm. You come over to these uh, control panels here and you'll get an indicator there to power it on with the L key. Watch this fire up. Very cool. Now like I said, some of this is going to be in Spanish. So that fires up and off with the L key. Then you can come over here and you can actually open this with the O key. That's cool. I like the creaking sound too. And then you can just drive across and drop your product down. And no, you can't ride my bike. <laughs> you know, you can't take that for a ride. I already tried. We have our chickens right over here. This is a beautifully textured map, I must say. Nice Spanish map. There's your chickens. Here is some storage for your vehicles. These all open with the uh, left click. Let's bring up my toolbar here. We have a few of our vehicles inside here. We have some storage for some seed and fertilizer and whatever else you want to put in here. There's some pallets in there already. And these actually open on up when you go over to them and press the left click. Very cool. There's our fertilizer. Here is our seed. Pretty high tech for a small little map. So yeah, that's the immediate area here. So that's all there is for this little spot. We do have some of our equipment down here. Here's one of the fields that you own down below. Harvester all set up, field one. Yes, I don't know if I mentioned that, but let me go back here to the uh, fruit screen. Okay, you own fields 1, 5, and 14. So that's not too bad. You got a little bit of a start anyway. So, like I said, that's your immediate starting area. That's your main farm right there. So I think what we'll do, guys, is I'm going to head up into the northeast corner here, and I'm going to make my way counterclockwise around the map. So we have a service station down below. Place to get some fuel. A little bit of a swamp here. A boggy marsh. Not too many square fields on this map, but I really got a. I really like the uh, layout of this map. Here is a potential customer here. Sell some product. Looks like you can sell some straw down below. Here is your pigs. Got some muddy mud down there. Place to drop off your pigs. We get a couple of small silage pits here. Three of them. Okay, what is the first factory we're coming up here? This is the Great Factory. Now, you come on over here. This has got a beautiful labeling system too. Watch when I open up this gate. And as soon as I step inside, you're gonna be greeted by a big old display on the left hand, or on the right hand side there. So as you, you can see, you bring in grapes, drinking water, and empty pallets, and you get small wine, wine, and grape juice in return. So yeah, very nice looking plant. So, like I said, you will have to purchase these. Now, I'd imagine once you pur purchase them, those inner gates will disappear. But, yeah, you don't have to go to a real estate agent or anything like that. You can just pick them up right here for a pretty decent $85,000. Not bad at all. You got this little factory here. I don't think this is anything. Oh, actually. This looks like a pallet factory. Oh, I didn't notice this the first time through. Yeah, okay, you can maybe store some pallets there. I didn't really notice that before. Okay, making our way along. Got a little bit of residential down below. All these houses are identical. A couple of different looking ones here. We got all that forestry. This is a very hilly map as well. Got that little lake coming on through the countryside there little house down there okay let's take a look up here this would be a good spot to test uh, some horsepower some vehicles look at the mud too love it yeah very hilly forestry section which I just love got a little place down here to store some vehicles and put some logs 
and go on inside by pressing the uh, left mouse button. Yeah, very nice. Different looking building. Let me bring up my map here to be sure not to miss anything. We got the uh, sawmill coming up here. Everybody's pretty familiar with the sawmills in this game. Bring in your logs. You can sell logs. Nice old looking building there. Looks like you can sell some wood chips as well. Yes, sir. Okay. So we're at the top of the mountain here. Your, your vineyards always is also up here, I should say. We'll take a little shot over to there. You can see all the nice forestry all interlaced here. Lots of muddy patches to drive through and get all dirty and stuff. Here is the vineyard. If you're not familiar with that, you come here and to get your grapes. So here's where you're going to put your ingredients, right on over here. You're going to have to purchase this as well for 55000 Pretty cheap indeed. You put your water there, fertilizer and manure right there. And yeah, you're up and running. I do believe your screen, yeah, there it is. Manure or compost, fertilizer and drinking water. So you will have to purify the water first by bringing it to the distilling station. Or what do they call it in here? Desalination. Desalination plant. Okay, pushing on. Let's come on back here to the biodiesel. Okay, we got a place right here to sell some straw, some hay and stuff. Nice little roundabout there, I like that. There is your biodiesel plant. You bring canola here, I'm pretty sure, and you get a few different things. Yes, canola, sunflower, or soybean you can bring here actually, and you get compost and diesel as a kickback. Very nice. Another road going up to your forestry, another place to store some logs and some more mud. Keep coming around the side here. We get some more residential. Another little field down there. Here is where you're going to purchase your vehicles. Little dealership right on inside. Sell your vehicles over there. There's also another place you can do that as well. Just keep coming around the side here and I'll take care of this stuff in the middle at some point. We'll wrap back around. There's a big happy cow on the side of the building. A red happy cow. Some more residential, some apartment buildings and such. Okay, what do we got down below? Now this is a place to store some of your products as well. This is also... Uh, you have to open this with the O key open up your bunker so you can put your product down inside this doesn't hold everything but it holds quite a bit of your product let's bring that up again we're gonna power it on with the L button now you'll have to power these on individually the ones at the main firm you didn't they both came on but that is so cool I really really like that okay now let me tell you what some of these products are now I did uh, translate most of them but this is all Spanish Viratas is shavings. Now I take it that's wood chips. Next we have hirba, which is grass. We have hino, which is hay. And patata. Can you guess what patata is? Potatoes. And then we have remolcha, which is sugar beets. We have ensilage. Can you guess what that is? Silage. And we'll head on over to this one. We have Paja. Paja is straw. Then we have Forage. Can you guess what that one is? Forage. Now this one I do not know. Uh, Google Translate is not giving me the correct thing, but it's calm curd and it's coming up with curds. So if anybody knows what that is, maybe they can uh, write it on down in the description so the rest of us will know what it is. Picatu is chopped. Now, I don't know if that's chopped straw or I'm not really too sure, but it's coming up chopped. And sal, I thought it was salt, but I'm getting volanted, whatever volanted is, but something's telling me that's probably salt. So yeah, very cool little storage area here. Moving on. This is, okay, you make planks here. So you can bring some wood chips, it looks like. And yes, you bring straw in logs here actually and you get wood chips and planks for pallets planks for building pallets as a kickback 
You also have this nice storage area for logs. You have to purchase his factory as well. And there's where you're going to put your hay inside there. So very nice little factory there. Okay, let's hit the speed button and we'll move along. Pretty much hitting the uh, corner of the map here. Little church down below, a little bit more residential. The car disappears into the unknown forest. Okay, we have a BGA here with three silage pits. This is a kind of a cool little setup here. I thought this was neat because at first I seen this, I'm like, oh, it's one of the above ground drop offs. But look, you got a little ramp that comes up the side here, so you can also dump it in from a tipper. So I thought that was fantastic. Really, really cool. There is your slurry pit. Okay, this might be the butchery actually, guys. There is your pigs, there is your cows. Come on down here, we should get a screen coming up. Yes, indeed. Pigs, cows, and sheep, and empty pallets, and you get meat pallets, and you get pallets of fresh hams, which you take to your curing plant, the dryer it's called, and yeah, you can make some, uh, some salted hams. Sell some eggs here at this little factory. Moving on, I just want to be sure not to forget that stuff up in the middle there. Actually, I think I'm going to cut back up here, guys, and I'll swing back down around, and we'll check that out in a second. So, yeah, we got this old-looking tractor down below. Now, this could be, I don't know if this is a maintenance shop or just another place to sell vehicles. It looks like you can fix your vehicles here. Left mouse button to open that up. Close door, open door. Oh, this one you get to actually hold it in. And look, you can toggle the lights on and off too. That's cool. Awesome little place. Okay, coming up on the sugar factory. A little different from the ones you normally see. Nice labeling on the building. This one you'll have to purchase as well, but you can go inside. Let's see those doors. Sounds like prison. Got this nice little factory inside here. I love how that pops up on the right hand side there showing n nice and big what you need and it's in English. So you bring in sugar beets, empty pallets and you'll get sugar pallets and forge in return. Nice forge. Very nice. Okay, let's leave this little place here. We'll pop on over to... Now what is this here? I kind of forget. This is your dairy. So you can sell your milk down below, bring pallets in here. I think this actually palletizes your milk. Are we going to get a little pop-up? Yes. Milk and empty pallets and you get dairy pallets in return. So very cool. Get a nice racking system here to put your product on. Looks like we got a brand new building going up here. Okay, we have an apple orchard down here. Now this is kind of neat. This is a little different off the beaten path. Come on over here and you can see that you need manure and compost and drinking water and you get apples in return. Now you'll have to do that for all of these, but you'll get a nice little kickback once it uh, starts up. You can store some of your water right down there in that little pit. You'll have to purchase this as well. More apple trees. Nice little storage area here for whatever you want to put in there. Some apple pallets perhaps or some uh, equipment. And you can buy these empty lots that you can put some placeables in. I thought that was pretty cool too. Empty lot for only 5,000 euro. $5,000 for that. Very nice. Here's the desal desalination plant. So yeah, you bring your salt water here. Like I said, you'll have to purchase this as well. Oh, I wonder if you can go in there. So yeah, you can see you bring in salt water and you get drinking water and salt. So it separates the salt from the drinking water, but you can also use the salt as well. So there you go. That's your salt water there and that's your pure water there, I take it. Very cool little factory. I love the idea of that. There's your salt. It's going to pull out of there. Very nice. Okay, moving on. We've got our beer factory coming up here. Looks like it takes some diesel as well. We've got some nice storage areas for your pallets of beer. So you bring cereals, hops, diesel, and empty pallets here, and you get chaff and beer pallets in return. A couple of your drop-offs there. You have to buy this factory as well. Very cool. Okay. Head over to the compost here. 
So you can make your own compost. So you bring in strong drinking water and you get compost as a byproduct. It's funny how a lot of it is in English, but a lot of it isn't. At least the little menus coming up on the right hand side there are all in English, so that's good. Nice little storage space there. This is a beautiful map. I really dug this map when I when I checked it out. I really liked it. We will head over to the agro shop. Now you can bring you some Venta? Did I say what Venta was? Oh, I didn't write that one down. Okay, this will tell us anyway. Seeds and fertilizer, very cool. So you can make some seeds and fertilizer here. There's a place where you're going to pick it up. Get a pallet. There's a place to get your seed. Look at that. Look how real that looks. Man, oh man. Great detail. I love all that little detail. It just adds so much flavor to it. Okay, guys, we're going to come back on over here. I do, oh, wait a minute here. I don't want to forget this place. Because this is looks like this Fapa Agro butchery, but I think you actually buy your animals here. Now, you would think this is like a kind of a slaughterhouse because it looks like there's meat in those boxes. But watch when I hit the trigger here and bring up, see? You buy your animals here, and the first one we seen was actually where you sell them. So, we have another place you can buy the property for five thousand dollars I'm not sure if that's the same one but I noticed there was two on here anyway okay and there was the first that is the slaughterhouse you can see it right there on the map okay coming over to the oil factory now I do believe this is for your sunflower oil Agra is water there's some pallets will have to purchase this plant as well yeah it's either olive oil or sunflower oil I just kind of forget which is which some of these doors you have to wait like a second before they actually open not much in here but hey it'll do the trick and you'll have to purchase that this here is your pallet making factory. You bring your planks here and you can use that as fuel as well and you get empty pallets as well. So yeah, you bring your planks here and they're going to make pallets out of them. And you can use board, pa board pallets and wood chips as fuel. Then you can store whatever you have right there. You'll have to purchase this as well. You got this big old supermarket here, place where you sold the eggs in the back. Another service station, nice little place to get water there, mud all over the place. Okay, pushing on. So there is quite a bit to cover considering this is, you know, a small map. Another customer down below, it looks like you can sell some product as well as some hay. You have this little factory, this is the food factory I was telling you about, which you have to purchase as well. And we'll get the thing pop up as soon as we get inside here. So you bring milk, cereals, and empty pallets here, and salt, and you get food pallets. It almost sounds like a cereal factory, like milk and cereals, empty pallets, and salt. Yeah. Put your milk there. Put your salt there. Very cool. I like that I can go in and show you these, because some of the maps that sell the company, sometimes you can't even get in near them. Okay, do we look at this place here? See, some of it isn't labeled. Okay, you gotta hold these in. Oh, it's just a storage area. Okay. Yeah, just remember that with the triggers. Some of them you have to hold in the mouse button, some of them you just click. Okay, so that is the food plant. We got some more vehicle storage over here. Coming around the side. Pretty decent sized map for a single player. I mean, you could play multiplayer on here, but this is the soy milk factory. You bring soybeans, water, fuel here, and you get liquid manure, milk, and pig food as a byproduct. So that is very cool. Soy milk factory. Okay, we're coming up on the greenhouses here. Now, these actually make pallets of your product. I'm not going to go over all these. I mentioned it all in the... Uh, well, strawberries obviously got some nice places to store some stuff there compost 
So what do you need to get these up and running? You need drinking water, compost, and empty pallets, and you get your pallets of uh, your finished product. Places store some pallets as they're being made. Here's all your drop-offs and whatnot. Very nice little setup here. Get some more over here. Okay, so you will have to purchase this as well. And that goes for $50,000. Nice little wharf down below. Okay, what do we have here? This is the dryer. Here's where you're going to bring your hams. So you bring salt, empty pallets, and pallets of fresh hams, and it's going to make cured ham pallets here. Now, can we get inside? Yes, we can. You won't be able to access it, though, until you uh, purchase it. Check it out. There's all your cured hams, and there's all your hams that are being cured. Cool. And there's your drop-offs and stuff your salt and your pallets love it just love it okay we get a nice little island out there pushing on uh, we almost passed the sheep I don't want to miss that here's your sheep zone and enter here I like those old rickety doors yes wool pallets yeah, and that's where you put your sheep and feed them and all that other good stuff. So that was the ham curing plant pushing on. We're almost done here, guys. Not much more to cover here. Coming up on the olive trees, this is kind of like your apple orchard over there, but it's just olives instead. You need manure, compost, drinking water, and you get olives. Nice little storing half silo there. Put some of your water and store it there. Another happy red cow on the side. Okay. Pushing on. A little bit more residential in here. Okay, what do we have here? This is a liquor factory. You got wine and liquor. They like their booze on this map. Okay, let's take a look inside. It looks like we can put potatoes or apples, hops, empty pallets, and sugar pallets inside. And we get look liquor pallets and chaff check out these I don't, that doesn't really look like apples it almost looks like hops it's probably your hops there and your potatoes of course you got a little diesel machine here does this take no it doesn't take diesel yeah it's a nice little factory here let's head on out we got another customer over here you can sell some product coming around the side of the map and then we get just a whole bunch of open land here. Look at the nice color of that. Very nice. Okay, we're coming up on the cows. Here is your cow zone. Feed them, bedding, water, all that good stuff. Lots and lots of mud. Moving on, there's your pickup for your manure and your slurry. Yeah, there's a field full of hops over here I want to show you. It's actually your product, I do believe. Check out the look of these hops. Isn't that crazy looking? Look how deep they are. It's almost as tall as a sugar cane. But yeah, the, I do believe that's the hops. Okay, we're going to wrap it on up here. And I do believe that's about it. Like, we can take a look at the central region here. There's not a whole lot to see here, except for some more housing and a couple more places to store your vehicles and whatnot. So... I get a nice vantage point here, so you can very nice feel to this map. I love how all the forestry is up on that hill there too, as well as your vineyard, and then you got your tiny little farm back here in the middle of the map. So there you have it, guys. That was the Cantabria Infinite version 1.7.0.2 map for the PC or map. File size is 624.19 megabytes. Additional information and links can be found down below in the description. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's review. If you did, maybe you can leave a like on your way out. And if you're new to the channel, why don't you go ahead and click on Nick right there in the middle of your screen. And I'll bring you new mod reviews every second day and Let's Plays every other day. Plus, my Patreon link is just below that. If you'd like to help and contribute to a smaller channel, it always really helps out. So, until next time, take care and we'll see you all in the next one.